What is up guys, this is iUpdate OS, and today I want to tell you about 5 great free city tweaks for iOS 6. Now the first one I want to tell you about today is called Pluck. Now what Pluck enables you to do is pick songs straight from your lock screen. When you click on the button, it comes up with a list of all your songs you have installed on your device. Then just click your song and it starts playing it. This is a must have tweak for anyone who loves music. Alright guys, so the next tweak I'm going to show you is called Live Papers. Now Live Papers, as it sounds, allows you to enable live wallpapers in iOS. Now it comes with one free one pre-installed, but there are paid add-ons in the Cydia App Store. To enable it, just click the Home and Lock buttons in the top left hand corner. You can then exit the app and you can see it plays along really well with iOS. I also haven't noticed any battery drain. Now one thing that really bothered me about iOS 6 is that some developers didn't update their apps to fit the new iPhones and the new iPod Touches 4 inch screen. The black bars at the top just didn't look right compared to all the other updated applications. Now this tweak called Screen Extender fixes it. So under the settings portion, you see a list of all your apps you have installed. Click on the one that doesn't fit your screen and then click Kill Springboard. After a quick respring, Unlock your device and head back to the app. You can now see it fits your device and looks a lot better than the old version. This next tweak is called Activator. Now what Activator allows you to do is have certain gestures to do certain things on your iDevice. For example, I'm going to enable swiping up from the bottom of my screen to invoke my app switcher. So after I adjust a couple of the settings, I'm just going to exit the app, and then you see when I swipe up from the bottom, it already puts my app switcher up. This is going to be super handy if your home button is broken, but even if it's not, I really enjoy it more than just pressing the home button. And finally, the last tweak for today is called Last Pick. Now as you see, I'm just going to take a picture here, and I'm going to put it in a message. Now it normally takes multiple steps just to put it in, but now when I click on my conversation and click the photo button, you see I have a use last photo taken button. When you click that, it automatically inserts the last photo you took. This is super handy if you don't want to go through all the steps and have to scroll through all your pictures just to get the last one you took. I really love this tweak. That's all for now. So if you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button. And if you're interested in more CD tweaks like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.